G'day, g'day, how are we all? Welcome to another My Summer Car video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to easily install mods for My Summer Car. Are you ready? Let's begin. First things first, you are going to need a website to download the mods from. There are two known websites that you can use to download mods for My Summer Car. Nexus Mods or Race Department. Personally, I find Nexus Mods easiest to work with. Before you start looking for mods, you are going to need to make an account on the website to be able to download the mods. After you have done setting up your account, you are now ready to begin searching for mods. Up at the search box, you want to click on the mods box and a menu will pop down. You will want to click on games. After you have done that, you will want to type in My Summer Car. After that's done, you should see a My Summer Car page down below. Click on it and it will bring you to the main page of the My Summer Car mods. Here you will see all the mods that have been uploaded by people that have made mods for the game. You have options of when the mods were uploaded or what's the most popular. Before you start downloading any mods, you are going to need a mod loader. There is two. MSC Loader or MSC Loader Pro. I use MSC Loader Pro and I find it to work with most mods. To find mods for My Summer Car on the main page, under More Mods there are tabs you can click to check newest or latest mods. Click on the mod, you will be brought to the main page of the mod. Scroll down and you will find info on how to install the mods, requirements, etc. If you click on the Files tab, you will see Install Files for the mod. A few mods show older versions of that mod, so make sure you download the latest one to avoid any problems with the mod. So under Installer, click on the Manual Download box. You will then be brought to this page. Click on the slow download if you haven't got premium. Once done, a countdown will begin. Once the countdown is finished, a pop-up will appear. Make sure save file is checked and click OK. Open up File Explorer and check the downloads folder. Drag the mod file onto your desktop and then right click on the mod file and click on extract files. Make sure your destination path is correct and click OK. Once done, a folder should appear with the mod installer in it. Open the folder up and click on the installer. A pop-up will appear. Pretty much here, you will need to find the folder where you installed My Summer Car. Click on the three yellow dots. Another pop-up will appear. If you have installed your game on Steam, on your SSD or hard drive, you can find it like this. For me, I have installed it on my hard drive. You will need to click on one of your drives and find Steam. Ignore the file being named Steam Games. I don't know why I renamed the folder. But anyways, click on Steam. Another folder will drop down named Steam Apps with other folders below. You will need to click on Common after that. The games you have installed on Steam will appear. You are looking for My Summer Car. Once you have found the My Summer Car folder, click on the box and make sure the My Summer Car folder is highlighted. And at the bottom, click on the box that says OK. Once done, your installer will let you know if it found the right folder. You will be able to now install the mod loader by clicking the yellow install box below. When the installer has been successfully installed, you can ignore the other stuff and click on the red X at the top right of the installer pop-up. And now, if you play My Summer Car through Steam, the loader will load up with the game. You don't need the installer to play My Summer Car with the mod loader. It should automatically do it through Steam. To confirm that the mod loader is working, there should be the MSC Mod Loader Pro logo with the version on the top left of your main menu. Great, you have a mod loader that can load mods into the game, but no mods. Well, simple. Let me show you. It can get advanced. Let's say you wanted to install the trailer mod. Scroll down and click on the files box below. Click on the manual download box. A pop-up has appeared, saying additional files required. This mod requires another mod to make the mod work. There's two, Mod Loader Pro and Trailer Hitch System. Now, we already have the Mod Loader Pro, so we don't need to install the launcher again. All we need to do is install the Trailer Hitch System mod. Click on the name of the mod and it will bring you to the main page of the mod. Scroll down, click the Files tab and click Manual Download. Pretty much every mod requires you to install Mod Loader Pro. And if you already have it installed, don't worry about it. Unless you have it installed, there's nothing to worry about. And also, don't forget to go back and actually install the trailer mod. Once you have downloaded the mods, drag the mod folders down to your desktop. Extract the mods, you should have two folders. One with the trailer mod and the trailer hitch system. Now that that's done, you will need to find your mods folder for My Summer Car. The mods folder can be found in the main directory where you installed the mod launcher. Once there, you should see some files. You will want to click on the mods folder. You should see three folders. Assets, references, and settings. Ignore these as we will be putting the mod files in the mods folder, not these ones. Open your downloaded mods. There should be an assets folder and the name of the mod that ends with .dll. Drag both files from your mod and drag them into the mods folder. Your assets folder will have gone into the assets folder and your mod 
.dll will stay in the mod folder. Once done, repeat the same with the other mods you have downloaded. Even if they are requirement mods, they still go the same with normal mods. And at any time you want to remove the mods, simply delete the files from your mods folder. Or if you want to completely remove MSC Loader, you can go to your game directory and click the uninstaller for MSC Loader. And there's an option where you can delete all mods as well. And now you're done installing your mods. All you gotta do now is open up Master Macar and click on the mods on the main menu to confirm that the mods are properly installed and launch up your game and have a blast. And that there is how to install mods for Master Macar. If you found this video helpful, like the video so I know it helped you out. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like these ones. And comment down below if you have any video ideas you wanna see me do in the future. This is Yeti, signing off.